I'm taking a look live from Sky 4, flying over the Buckman Bridge. And that's a good sight because, we, as we've been telling you, all lanes are now back open. Now that workers have made emergency repairs on the southbound lanes, which were closed for about eight hours today, frustrating many drivers. The bridge was fully reopened around 3.30 this afternoon after crews placed metal plates over an exposed expansion joint. The Department of Transportation says these temporary repairs will allow vehicles to safely travel over the bridge. News 4 Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley has obtained some of what's in inspection reports of the Buckman dating back to 2017. Kelly, what'd you find? Well, first, at minimum, these bridges have to be inspected every two years. We looked at past inspection reports, and what we found is good news. These inspect, these, this bridge has had good inspections in the past couple of years. Today, state inspectors and crews were the only people on the southbound Buckman Bridge for hours as they tried to figure out why a portion of the major thoroughfare appeared lifted. The bridge was last inspected in February 2020, according to the Florida Department of Transportation. Records from the FDOT show the bridge also underwent routine inspections in April 2017 and April 2019. For the health index score measuring the overall condition of the bridge, inspectors gave the Buckman a 96 out of 100 in 2020. According to FDOT, anything less than an 85 would have meant repairs are needed. Federal records of the bridge's inspection from 2019 found the bridge was in fair condition, meaning all primary structural elements are sound, but the bridge may have minor section loss, cracking, spalling, or scour. Today, inspectors with the Florida Department of Transportation say the issue that created major backup and detours was a damaged finger joint on the bridge. We've had this issue in um, bridges in the Tampa Bay area in the past, and um, our crews were able to repair them fairly quickly. They went through and they believe they replaced the entire joint. So um, that would be all of the travel lanes. And as far as these inspection reports go, we only get limited information. State officials would only release the basic top sheet of the inspection report, and they're citing Homeland Security reasons for why they can't release the rest.